Limbros. Good luck. Uh, yeah, 60%. Dead. I am the bone collector. I really, really appreciate it. It was a really tough session. Like when my computer crashed, Okay, uh, if you cover people, you call three bets in PLO. Bounties, PLO bounties. No. Oh my goodness. Um, so, and if I if I were to make a day two, I will be I will be driving back uh, f uh, for that uh, over here. So if that's clear. Oh, it's a good river. Well, King Nine makes a boat, but. Big difference if you raise from the button or small blind, of course. All right, so uh, you remember my theory where I said don't fold the three bets um, <laughs> in KOs? Yeah, I meant it. I don't know, this, is, this might be bad though. Truly, I know. Truly, guys, you guys are like, yes. I know that. Oh, there's still some ace, king, queen kind of hands in there. It's nice that uh, it's nice that uh, the pot covers him. You know what I mean? So he has less than pot because it would be it would be very unlikely in a bounty tournament for me to check the turn if I have quads. Uh, so at least now I still am uncapped, aka I have the nuts in my range. Pretty much been giving everybody chips. That's what happens when you call three bits very light. This is actually a really good hand to over good hand to call three bit with. I don't really know what's good here. I don't know. Guys, right, so I'm gonna pot it because uh, I need to get to there all in. Oh my god, if this costs me. No, it won't. Jesus, what am I talking about? This is one of those spots, yes, I cover him, but my hand is so bad if they would raise, I think I just fold because if I lose the pot, which is very likely, then they'll cover me, which takes away a lot of my uh, firepower. Perfect card to get some folds. I, f I slept on my bed and then on Monday morning, my mom actually thought that uh, I, uh, uh, you know, that I was just gonna go to school. And then she they came home from work on Monday uh, uh, afternoon and they thought that I just had a power nap and they figured I was tired and just let me sleep. But actually just didn't go to school, didn't do anything. Um, heart, spade, five, definitely. Good shit. Right for 23 years. Nice, the debtors. <laughs> debtors. No shit. And I hope he falls because I'm not going to be able to play for 7k against them. Because now I open up the bounty there. Actually checked it back. 
The trolley is bored in existence, and then he raises the river when the board pairs. What a gangster. Wait, so this guy flats and then threw us? Old. <laughs> no deuce, no four, no ace. Easy! 3750! <laughs> what are you doing, mate? <laughs> okay. I thought it was like kings or maybe ace, king, queen as well or something. Oh shit, he has a six as well. And a five now. Let's check all the board's so dynamic. Check raising boards like that is very dangerous because they're gonna have 40% against you if they have some sort of combo draw and you can be dead against uh, queens and uh, kings. When you watch other streamers and other poker players, if you chat. Ah, like that. Yeah, I do actually. I do. Good to keep that in mind. Oh, this is really class. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bet half that guy's stack. Cause then if he shoves, I get to re-isolate. If I bet 1500, he can just call the 1500s. Okay, this is worst case. <laughs> Limbrace, good luck. Uh, yeah, 60%. Dead. I am the bone collector. Wow. Man, this day two is a disaster from the start. Wow. No club. What did I tell you? Hey, this is so fucked for Torsty. GG Torsty. Croaks gifted a sub to Void Z. How nice, Croaks. Legend. That's amazing. Thanks, Croaks. Really important to bet pot. There's also two flush draws, there's a straight draw. And then uh, I cover them that way on the river, which is great as well. This guy is just like, is there any special bounty on you? I need 50k. <laughs> Fuck me. Wow. $100 bounty at large. Good. Oh, this is fucking class. This guy has 2400 on top, so I make it 4000. And hope that the first guy isolates. This is Omega Brain play. Because now if he shoves, if I pot it, he can just call uh, a million big blinds deep. You see? Because now I get to isolate. Bang. This is 500 IQ. Thank me later. Otherwise we pot and they can just call and then we have to play out of position, but now we kind of like, you know, trick them. Wow. Maybe here I bet again, 1150, but it's not clear that this guy's gonna go for it, right? It's one of those spots where if they flat, you know, they have a draw and then the river's like the eight of hearts and you're like. <laughs> I've played enough PLO. Let's just bet the flop. We're gonna bet fold this. Oh man. I have to call this. I just 
himself a pretty brilliant two pair draw. Uh, I mean, this guy has it, right? So. Um. Okay, final table. That's good. Ba, 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 ba. We're second on the final table? Wow, it's a really deep final table. Wait, we're first, right? Oh, second. <laughs> Ace is on the final table. Oh, nice. Should I debate? No. No, people have too much equity in Pillow. Because against these aces, people will have 44% with some hands. So, like, what am I... I need to get that equity out, you know? It's more important. If they call, I have, like, 1.4 times pot left. All right. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. $25 bounty. $325 in bounties. That's crazy. Nice. Wow, that's a fucking bet on the turn. Always oh, lucky. Yeah, I know, mate. Suck it. Done with that shit. Look at that, two pair and a flush throw. I hope you hate this, mate. Wow, look at that, I won. <laughs> 37.50. So over here we have 362 in bounties. What's first, actually? 550, okay, so we can win like 1500. <laughs> Easy playing poker like this, Kappa. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're dead. You know the rights. <laughs> Fuck. How is Asus a caller, though? I mean, you guys uh, sometimes try to think too much as if everybody plays super logically. You know what I mean? So as if, as if uh, anybody that that I play against is going to think about their hands in like a constructive, logical fashion. Watching ESPN Peña Sessi once Nunez again. What a legend. Okay, as long as I don't have ace-high clubs, we should be in a really good spot. Ace-queen-jack-5. <laughs> okay, that's good. Nice, straight, boom! $50 in the Le bank. We are annihilating this pillow funnel too. <laughs> this is a huge money jump there. That helps. No. It doesn't help. It did not help. Four deuce. Getting a dough. Still a fun session, I have to say, uh, you know. Diamonds. Also, I know he doesn't value, but very light, right? Does he get to seven eight there? Really? Like I don't know. King king seven eight. No sense. Whatever. I mean, this guy doesn't value, but at all. So it's a bit hard to imagine that he's gonna have a straight there. So then, if he bets, 
He's too polarized, so I can call a lot. If I bet four and a half good tank, yeah, okay, I can get there. I just need to get to all in and then the cheapest I can make it on the flop and turn, you know, the better. I mean, if people are playing pretty unimaginatively, then maybe I should just fold because then he'll just have it, right? Then they're just not fucking around. But like, there's so many draws I miss on Jack 9, 5 with two diamonds when it's like Jack 9, 4, 6. Like, how the fuck am I going to go him 7, 8? And I don't see him value by two pair in two earlier spots, so. Hey. To doom. Easy win. Parents that were taking us didn't like it that much, but what can you do? Loogie boogie, meow. <laughs> Alright, if I bet, you have to be so concise here. If you bet pot and they call, I get to shove for his bounty. It's so important that you pay attention in these tournaments. Okay, come on. Yes! Oh man, I can't send the tissues anymore. I'll just do it over there, just to feel good about it. We have so much more bounties than the rest, it's imperative that we win this. Look at this, they have 120, they don't even have anything yet. We're walking outside there and I stepped in dog shit, so... Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Waited all that time. <laughs> yes! This is a good score. Alright, head up. Um, so, how do you, how, what are we playing for? You calculate both bounties, or you add them together times two, so we're playing for $700 in bounties. That's quite large if you look at uh, the first place prize, right? Just what we're playing for in bounties is 1.5x the first place prize, so. Is there more skill in Omaha? Do level, high level pros win more consistently at Omaha and Omaha is a fucking firecracker, so more consistently is not, is not words that are um, heavily associated with uh, PLO, so. It, it, Omaha is an insanely skillful game. There's a lot of people who think that Omaha is just gambling, it's just all ins and all that stuff, but that's, that it couldn't be more false. Omaha is an insanely skillful game. strong hands. Get a straight, the king I flush draw and a and a trip six is on the turn. Had a fridge in a storage room that broke so it didn't open for days. Nice. After a few days I opened it saw the secretion dripping down the smell then creeped up my nose was the worst thing I've ever smelled. Patrick just searched last call. I heard about that one. Be curious to check that out. Please don't have some nitty check. No, okay. Man, I've been fucking annihilating this guy as up. Let's hope we can clinch it. I've raised so much on the flop, that's... That sucked. Uh, really hard to find any redeeming qualities here. If he has two pair, I'm close to dead. If he have, uh, if he has a king with a flush draw, I'm close to dead. It's just nothing. If he has a bluff on the flop, then I have to fold like 60% of the turns. So those are the kind of spots where you're just like, okay, never mind, keep it because you're gonna end up folding the turn anyway. And it's something I learned in PLO is that 
uh, after a certain point, I was just like, oh, this spot is so hard on the turn or this spot is so hard on the river and I don't know what to do. And I would ask Lauti, like, oh, Lauti, what do I do? And he'd tell me, you need to stay out of that spot by not getting in there. The question is not like, how do I play it? You just fucked yourself into a position. Is that random space, like a six and a gutter, stuff like that, to just have to fold? There's, there's a huge misconception in PLO that when you're betting with a draw and a board pairs, that it's bad for you. Because you just start realizing that you can also get around with small bets a lot, especially on like Queen 10x, and you have like King Jack with a backdoor flush draw, and you bet, and they call the turn is a 10. You can get away with a lot of small bets because you'll just think like, oh, I could be dead, and they're going to fold a lot of equity. Oh man, too good. I think I could just pop this as well to get it in. Queen, queen, seven, eight, heads up. You see, oh, this is weird. Doesn't he just have ace king, guys? He, kings like what kings bet the flop doesn't he just have ace king here i think he's ace king blocker playing me like what what else like why would you check the turn with aces why would you check the turn with ace 10 why would you check the turn with king 10 for that matter i don't see it i think he has ace king and he's fucking with me uh okay then why the fuck do you bet the flop my god <laughs> yeah king 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 it's ace 10 10 <laughs> So nothing has outs against me, but when I bet, I only get called by better. But it's fine. I mean, it's super lucky. He just hits some sort of like one outer there. Because it's it's weird because he's already winning, right? So it's not a true one outer, but I mean, if you if you think about how pots can get big, especially me running down the hand, then the king of fucking clubs is a pretty fucking crazy card. Ah, it's all good. GG! Nice. Boom! That's amazing. Nice. Right after that hand. Good. Oh man, that's why I got a little bit upset because you because sometimes it can feel the tide turning in PLO. Nice sway. GG. Nice. Boom. There you see it. Nice little win. $1,800.